Uh, it's been going pretty good. Um, well, I went down and training at Exos Pensacola, and from then I just been focused on getting healthy and things like that. So I'm healthy now, and yeah, everything's been going pretty good. Um, yeah, it was tough not to be able to be, able to be a part of that experience, but um, I'm happy for my team. They went out and got the job done, and I was able to lead Missouri uh, better than I found it. So I'm proud of that, and I'm proud of them. Uh, I mean, he's big, strong, fast, athletic. Uh, he's a really great player. Um, I feel like he was able to make me better uh, as a linebacker. So, that's, uh, just by playing a quarterback so big, fast, and strong, um, you don't really see that in quarterbacks a lot. So I'd say that's what the challenge of going against Anthony was. And you're also someone who played against him. Right. In 2022. What, what yeah. Like, what are the coaching points that you got against Anthony? Uh, honestly, just just get him on the ground. I mean, don't let him get out the pocket and things like that. Uh, create. Like, we just try to keep them in the pocket and things like that. Don't let them get out and run and stuff like that. Yes, sir. Uh, he, I say he was very difficult, but I mean, we was able to get him down, so yeah. Um, I say he's a really great person. Um, and he's one of the most ath athletic guys I know for his size and to have all that speed and explosion and things like that, for sure. Uh, yeah, I love that staff. Um, coach Drink, Coach Baker, uh, Coach Smith, my linebacker coach, um, they definitely was able to make me a way better player. I feel like they molded me into the player and to the man that I am today. So, um, yeah, they helped me grow a lot. Uh, yeah, I got a chance to talk to the Houston Texans. Oh man, it'd be great. Um, I love his defense. Uh, I really like him as a coach. I mean, it'd be an honor to be able to play for him, a uh, former linebacker. I feel like he can really help me elevate my game. Uh, yeah, I spoke with spoke with the Bucks. Um, it was a informal meeting with the Bucks. Uh, it would mean a lot to play with the Bucks and be in Florida, the city of Tampa. I mean, it's a really great, great city, so I would love to go down and play for them. Uh, the teams that I, I wouldn't say anybody really stood out. Um, the teams that I met with, everyone, I enjoyed them all. So, uh, Luther Burton, um, obviously Brady Cook. Uh, I say Tristan Newsom. He's the linebacker that stepped in for me, um, and he played a huge role in the Cotton Bowl and the games that I was out. Um, I say it's going to be a lot of guys you're going to be talking about. It's a lot of talent on that team. I expect them to be in the playoffs and go to the Natty and win it. I couldn't really hear you. Yeah, I feel like I feel like he put me in the best position to show everything that I could do as a player. Uh, my athleticism, uh, being able to blitz, cover, and drop in different zones and things like that. I feel like his his defense really helped me to get to here, uh, where I am now. Um, yeah, I've been speaking with Trey Dean and Ventrell Miller. So those guys, honestly, they tell me what to expect here and throughout the process and things like that. So I say those two. Uh, my goals for this week to just honestly interview well, show my knowledge of the game, and then when I go out on the field, uh, show how athletic I am and fast and things like that, how I'm twitchy. What makes Darius I mean, have you seen him? You got to interview him? I mean, he's huge. He's a freak. He's a hard worker, smart guy. Uh, 
I feel like he's just, he's a dog, honestly. He's everything you want uh, in a D-lineman, and he's he can also play every position on the D-line. And what about as a teammate? As a teammate, he's a great person. I mean, he was always a guy to get us going, uh, get us riled up and ready to go for the game and things like that. So I feel like he was a great leader on the team. Uh, yeah, I was able to meet with the Cowboys, yes, sir. Uh, formal meet. Uh, the, the conversation went great. Um, I, I like the meeting, the things of film that they showed me, uh, that they taught me, the things they told me I need to work on, and the things that I was, they told me that I was very good at. So I feel like the uh, informal, I mean, the formal meeting went very, very well. Uh, I'd say uh, basically having better uh, eye discipline and uh, having consistent angles when I'm going to strike, uh, make tackles, and things like that. Uh, obviously, my speed and athleticism, uh, I can cover, I can blitz. Uh, I was able to, Coach Baker put me in uh, situations where I was able to rush and get to the quarterback, so I say things like that. Thank you. Uh, no, I haven't met with the Cardinals. Darius, talk about what it means to be here. Several Mizzou teammates, Darius was up here earlier. Chris Abrams, Dre, Davis, Ray Straw, Jalen Carlisle, Cody Schrader, all going to be here. And just what that says about this kind of class of uh, um, I say that that just shows you that Mizzou is back. I feel like Mizzou don't get a lot of respect in the SEC and as a program, but for us to have, I believe it's six of us here, right? Uh, it shows you the steps that Mizzou has taken uh, to be to become a really um, dominant program in the SEC. What I learned what it takes is it takes uh, great leadership. I mean, the older guys um, really taking charge of uh, being the guys that set the tone at practice and in meetings and things like that. So I say just great leadership out of the older guys. Um, I, really, I really wanted to say that. with him a couple of times. Um, I definitely watch his film a lot. I watched him a lot at Mizzou when I first got there, and I watched him a lot uh, playing for the Chiefs. I think he's a phenomenal linebacker. At home, crowd go crazy. Yeah, I love playing, uh, playing at home for sure. Yes, sir. Right. Uh, I say that get, those games just show, showed us what type of team we were, honestly, being able to be in those games, but we weren't able to finish. Um, I feel like we definitely should have won those games, but I, we were definitely a few plays away uh, versus Georgia and LSU from being in the playoffs, I, uh, I feel like, honestly. If you want to say that. Uh, if you want to say that, I'm, I'm originally not even from Georgia. I'm not really a Georgia guy. I'm, I'm originally from Shelby, North Carolina, but I definitely feel like more college coaches and teams like that respect Georgia ball more. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, Roswell? Yeah, I let everybody know I played for Roswell. Yeah, yes, sir. I claim it for sure. I mean, it's a part of me. That was my first step to going to uh, Florida. So, yeah, I claim Roswell, Georgia. I say I got to go with Roswell, Georgia. I mean, doing what I did in South Carolina, it was cool. But when I did the same thing in Georgia, it gave me more notoriety and helped me become a, a better player and things like that. I mean, Georgia is full of athletes, full of trainers and things like that. So you, I feel like it's just more opportunity in Georgia, better training and things like that. So I say those guys come in more prepared than maybe a guy from South Carolina or any other state. Uh, I moved from South Carolina to Georgia Christmas break of my sophomore year. So I was at Roswell for two and a half years, and I played high school ball in Gaffney, South Carolina for two and a half years also. Uh, for sure. It, I, feel like it was, I feel like it was just way more detailed with the plays and the development of the players. Um, yeah, I say the play that I made K-State on the third down stop, the 
be able to get the offense the ball back and they go and score a field goal. So yeah. Yes, sir. Um, I, I want to really show them how well that I move uh, with position work and things like that. So I get, I guess I say that part of my game, honestly, just the way I move as a player and as a linebacker. How do you, how do you prepare for that? How do you stretch that? Uh, honestly, just focusing on staying loose, staying quick. I mean, we got the Exos guys here, so I'm able to go over there and get work every night and things like that. So, yes, sir. Um, my favorite D. Rob story. I don't know, I don't really have a story, but I got to play and I say the sack that he had versus Kentucky, uh, the way he exploded off the ball and was able to get to the quarterback. So that's my favorite player, D-Rob, the sack that he had versus uh, Kentucky. Tyron, you had one of the best kickers in the country this year with Harris Me. How much, how much of a weapon would this have here this season? Well, I think he won two game winners for us. So without him, we're not one of the top teams in the country at all. So without... Without him, this season could not happen. I feel like he was a very important piece to the team. How does having a weapon like that change your mindset of what both sides of the ball are? Uh, I feel like having a weapon like that gives you opportunity to take more chances and things like that. Like So, yeah, I feel like he was just a huge weapon for us. Flash forward a couple months, post-draft, you know, where's your ideal – what's the ideal scenario? What's the ideal situation? Uh, I just want to go as high as I can go uh, to the team that want me the most, honestly. So, yeah, it don't matter where I go. I mean, they're going to get the best. The, they're going to get everything out of me. They're going to get my best no matter where I go. So I really don't have a team or a certain staff or anything that I would like to play for. I would honestly like to play for anybody that want me to play for them. Some guys use daydreaming and, and to, to further their aspirations. Others try to live in the moment. Right. I'm just trying to stand a moment, take everything day by day, step by step, keep going as a player and as a person. Uh, nah, there's no restrictions. I'm full go. K-State, K-State, I hated K-State. I feel like it was disrespectful to us in the SEC to go down there and lose to those guys the first year I was at Missouri. So being able to honestly beat them, that was probably my favorite victory at Missouri for sure.